Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A10A and we're looking at the HUD modes and the HUD symbology. So we're looking at the different modes and the base symbology in those modes. It's important to recognise that there is extra symbology when it comes to, for instance, employing certain weapons. We're not going to be looking at those special types. Those will be left for the tutorials of those weapon types and whatnot. So we're just looking at uh, the overview. So first of all, we're going to look in Adjust Controls, see what HUD modes we have. We have one, Navigation Mode, or Navigation Modes. We have two, Air-to-Air -air Mode, or Longitude and Missing Aiming Mode, and seven, Air-to-Ground Mode. So we're going to start with one, Navigation Mode. Let's see what we've got. So we'll start from top to bottom, shall we? We've got this cross. This is our gun aim. So that is where our gun is aiming at the moment. This is our pitch ladder. So that is zero degrees of pitch. That is five degrees of pitch up, five degrees of pitch down. And if you rolled all the way up, then, you know, it will go all the way up to 90 degrees or wherever it terminates. Here is our path vector. Here is where the actual aircraft is flying. Here is our tadpole. Otherwise, um, it's described as a direction to your next point of interest that you have selected. I've got a waypoint uh, one, I believe, selected at the moment, and that shows where waypoint one is and how to get to waypoint one. On the left is our airspeed, that is calibrated airspeed. If you want to know the difference between the different airspeeds, indicated airspeed, calibrated, true, and whatnot, then we've got a video about that in the educational general section. This is our barometric altitude in feet. And it's important to say that when we get below a predefined distance uh, altitude, then our radar altitude will also appear here. Here is our pitch that we're traveling, currently plus one degrees. If it was down here, it would say down here, it would say minus five. This here is our heading tape. So our current heading is displayed by this triangle here. So our current heading would be 294, whatever that would be there. And it goes around obviously in 360 degrees from zero to 360 degrees. Our desired heading point of our point of interest is shown by this double line here. So that is our point of interest, which is waypoint one, I believe I've got selected at the moment. It's telling us that it's left of where we are, basically. So to get to it, we'd have to turn left. And eventually, when we were on the right heading, this would be um, under the triangle here. Here we have our currently selected waypoint, which is waypoint one. Here we have the distance from us now from us to the waypoint one. Here is the time if we travel at our current velocity and whatnot that it would take to get to waypoint one. So it is 37 seconds. This here I've never understood there. It's the difference between the current time and our desired time to waypoint one. It doesn't, it's never made any sense to me. This is the current actual time. Okay, so that is the basic symbology for basic navigation mode to get into ILS landing mode. I'm gonna unpause and press one again. ILS mode now, so it works essentially the same. It's We follow this marker here. It's telling us to, to get onto the ILS for whatever airport we're near. Um, we want to turn right, and when we're on the correct uh, heading, then that would be under the triangle again. Um, this tells us, I think, which airbase the ILS is for. So it's the, whichever airbase is under number two, basically, under the sign for number two. It's 86.2 miles away. That's how long it's going to take to fly with our current parameters. That's the one, again, that I can't understand. Um, what else is different? Everything else is the same, except we have, again, we've got our tadpole there. This here is our vertical velocity. We want to know our vertical velocity when landing, especially when we're in IFR conditions. I don't know how many feet it is per minute, but it's going to be so many hundreds of feet per minute. Um, and that is that. And you can see we're climbing at the moment. Okay, that's that. Now let's move on to the air-to-air. -air. So escape and six. Right, so much the same. Everything around here is the same. This is, we've got weapon information here. Uh, and all it's going to tell us is how many bullets we've got in our gun, in our cannon, 1150. We've got our gun targeting funnel there. That's explained in the air-to-air uh, -air video. And we've got our bore-sighted range... Um, sensor for our selected aim nine sidewinder there otherwise that is all the same i believe so let's uh, look at air to ground mode okay i mean this symbology is going to vary depending on what weapons we've got and i don't want to look into weapon specific symbology so all i'm interested in really is everything's the same except this chap here which i think from memory is our CCIP gum gun cross, so where our bullets are essentially going to impact. 
Uh, we've got down here, uh, this other stuff here is to do with the uh, the bombings, we're not going to go through that today. This here is telling us what weapons we've got, we've currently got Mark 20 uh, selected, and we've got four of them selected. This number here, it depends which weapon we've got select selected, it usually means the altitude of the area that you are targeting, or the elevation. And this here is usually, depending on what weapon you selected, is usually the slant range from where we are at the moment to the point at which we are aiming our weapon. But again, these change as per the weapon. We'll go over that properly in the weapons videos. Right, uh, that is everything I need to show. I hope that helps and see you later.